start seated. So everyone can come have a seat. Okay. Nice and gentle. Bring your toes and your feet together. Nice. Place your hands on your toes. Lift your chest. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Let's do two more just like that. Breathe in. Exhale out. My John Cena. And just so you know, throughout this class, you can make as many noises, grunts, anything that you desire. Whatever you feel like you need to release, do that while you're here. Let's take another deep breath in. And then exhale out. Relax your knees a little bit more. Try to relax your shoulders. We're gonna get into some pelvis movement here. So keep your chest lifted. On your inhale, bring your knees together, breathe in. Exhale, bring your knees down. Nice, let's do a few more. Breathe in, squeeze, breathe out. Three more, breathe in, breathe out. Last two, breathe in, make sure you squeeze and lift your chest, squeeze and lift. Exhale, press your knees down. Nice, one more, breathe in. And exhale out. Now soften here, let your knees be heavy. Maybe seal your lips. And just notice how your breath enters and exits your body. Make sure you're softening your jaw. If you have any tension in your hips, send your breath to that area. So if you feel any tension, just take an inhale to notice where it is and your exhale to soften, okay? Let's do three more. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Nice, you joining? Yeah, yeah I join. Over here, there's a space right there for you. Maybe make space just a little bit more. Let's get into our necks. So go ahead and release your forehead to your chest. And then bring your right ear, right shoulder all the way around. Try to relax your shoulders when you go around. If there's any other tension, just relax it. Two more rounds to the right. <sighs> Let it go. Nice. Another round to the right. Last one. Really get into the neck. Good job. And then when you find your forehead at your chest, let it rest there for a second and sway it side and side. Almost like it's a bowling ball hanging off a tree or something. It's just heavy, left and right. And then left ear, left shoulder, all the way around. Get into your neck this way, all the way to the left oh. side. Let it go. Holding so much tension in our necks. If you're like me and hold tension in your shoulders, this is beautiful practice for you to get into. Two more rounds to the left. One more. Nice. Let your head be heavy. Sway it left and right. And then slowly bring your gaze up. Now, Let's move on. We're gonna get into a tabletop. So get there however it feels comfortable for you. Spread right. your fingertips out wide. All right. Okay. Make sure your fingertips are nice and spread it out. Okay. Untuck your toes. If your knees need to be a little wider, that's okay too. We're just gonna do three cat and cows. Don't stretch too much in your tummy. You just wanna make it nice and gentle to connect to your breath. Make sure your, your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Right. So inhale, look up, relax your belly down. Exhale, curl, look between, nice. Two more, inhale, cow, heart space open. Exhale, cat, curl and arch, beautiful. One more, inhale, cow, beautiful. Exhale, cat, curl and arch. Let's do one more, really get into it, breathe in. Breathe out, really arch. Let's hold it here just for a second. Look between your thighs. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing. Breathe into the back body. 
<sighs> nice. All right, now let's find some gentle movement all the way around. So lift your, shift your hips all the way back and around. Get into the body, get into the hips. Find some nice circles. And try to sit your hips back towards your feet. Whatever you need, just keep letting it out. Try to sit your hips back as much as possible. Stretch through your shoulders, your fingertips, your wrists. Mm -hmm. Two more rounds. One more round, nice. Coming back to your tabletop, nice. We're gonna get into some balancing. Bring your right leg all the way back. Keep your feet, your hands planted. Right. And we're gonna find some circles. So release your toe down around and out. Nice circles all the way around. Open up the hip. Now, if this doesn't feel too good for you, you can bend your, your right knee and you can make circles all the way around. Make them nice and big. Okay. Try to go as slow as possible. So lift it up and around. Almost. Yes. You can bend your right knee. Mm-hmm. It's all right, it's something to get used to. So bend your right knee and go all the way around. Yes, and back, beautiful. Let's do one more, keep going. Make sure you're breathing, that's what's gonna make it feel good. Nice, release your right knee down, let's do the other side. Left leg comes all the way back. Oh, nah. Chad, this feel good. Mm -hmm. Point your toe and find some circles all the way around. Remember, you can keep your legs straight or you can bend your knee and find circles. Almost. Make them a little bit bigger, lift it up. And around, nice. Up. And around, nice. God damn. Does that feel natural for you to go backwards? You can go forward too if you want. Yes. Good, good. Yeah, you can go forward. You don't have to go back. You got it. Whatever you need. One more round to the front. So you're gonna lift. Mm-hmm, left. Beautiful, and then release your knee down. Find a child's pose, sit your hips back. Toes can be together or toes can be out long. Bring your arms out long and relax your forehead. Ugh. The wider the knees, the deeper you go in your hips. Try to relax your arms. Nice. Now I want you to bring all your attention, all your focus, bring that to your hips. Take an inhale to notice where your hips are. Exhale to sink the hips back a little bit more. And hold it here for three breaths. Are you breathing? Are your inhales and exhales intentional? One more. Nice, and slowly start to get all the way up to your tabletop. We're gonna come into a standing. Option to get to standing however you desire, or you can go into a downward dog just for a second and walk your feet to the front of the mat. Mm -hmm. Your feet are hip length apart. Now while you're here, you can slowly start to come up nice. Shake it off, relax your legs, shake your legs out. Beautiful. And again, to some balancing postures, let's start with a tree pose first. So keep your feet nice and planted, ground down through your heels. Inhale, arms up. You gonna join us? Oh, shit. Exhale, prayer hand. Nice, let's do two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer hands. Last one, inhale, arms up. Look up as you reach. Exhale as you come down. Ground down through your left foot, so keep your left foot where it is and lift your right leg high. Getting into some balancing, your right knee is in alignment with your hip. Keep your toe flexed towards your face. Keep your chest lifted. We're gonna hold it here just for about three breaths. Nice. This is a beautiful balance. I think y'all are ready to go to the next level already. So from here, take an inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna reach this right leg all the way back into a low crescent or a high crescent. So your toes hit the floor and your arms come up. Nice. Ooh. 
Beautiful. That was nice balance. So your toes are still facing to the front of the room. So your back foot, yep, facing to the front. Nice. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, we're going to go into a warrior two. Arms out, back foot flat. Look over your left arm and look forward. Nice. Your left knee is over your ankle. Make sure your shoulders are in alignment with one another. Nice. Inhale. Hold for your exhale. Maybe sit deeper if you want to. Your left knee is over your ankle, so maybe you focus your left knee forward. Mm-hmm. Last breath here. Flip your left palm. Exhale. Straighten out that left leg and reach up for a reverse triangle. Oh. Your left leg is straightened. You're reaching your left arm up. Last breath here. Exhale, warrior two, coming back. Tee out the arms, nice. Arms to center, coming all the way to a high crescent like we did before. Now we're gonna go back to the top like we started. Take an inhale. On your exhale, press into this left leg. Right leg comes high, you can do it. Lift, 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 beautiful. And then arms to your sides. Nice control. How y'all feeling? Good. 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 <laughs> Let's do the other side, all right? Ground down, come to the top. Arms to your sides. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, pray your hands. Inhale, arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, pray your hands. Nice. One more. Inhale, arms up, breathe in. Exhale, pray your hands. Ground down through your right foot this time. Left leg comes high. Breathe in and lift your left leg up, balancing on your left side. Mm -hmm. Keep your left knee in alignment with your hips. Try to get the left knee higher, just a little bit higher. Focus your toes up, so flex your feet. Nice. Keep your chest lifted. When you start to wibble and wobble, that means that you're doing a good job and that means that you're, you're getting stronger. Last breath here. And then our balance, exhale, left leg comes all the way back. High crescent, arms up, breathe in. Beautiful. Hold for your exhale, soften your shoulders. Your right knee is still bent. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Flatten out your back foot. Right knee is still bent towards the front. So your right knee is bent. Your shoulders are in alignment with one another. You're softening your shoulders. Find a little bit more grace. Looking over your right fingertips. Need a little bit of balance of grace and ease. Last breath here. Exhale, reverse. Reach your left palm up. Straighten out the left arm or your right. right. Sorry, wrong side. <laughs> Up and up, look up. Can you straighten out your right arm a little bit more and can you look directly right. to the ceiling? Instead of trying to find a back bend, right. can you just reach up and straighten out the right leg? Let it feel good in the body. Right. Nice, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, coming back down, right knee is bent, gaze forward. And then arms swooping up. Come back to your high crescent and we're gonna take it to the top, inhale. Exhale, lift and come all the way, left leg high. Reach, reach, reach. And then releasing down. Nice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer hands. Bring your feet to the outside edge of the mat. Toes out, heels in. We're gonna squat into a yogi squat. So your, your legs can be as wide as you want. Ideally, not too far away from the mat and you're gonna squat low. Nice. Option to keep your hands planted. Mm-hmm. Yes, and breathe right there. You got it. You can use your hands. Your hands can come down. Keep breathing. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, lift your hips and coming back up. We're going to do that two more times. So you can keep, you can either come all the way standing or you can keep your fingertips here and just keep squatting low. Whatever feels good in the body, but we're going to do it two more times. Toes out, heels in. Inhale. Exhale, oh, squat low. Drop it low, nice. Plant your palms. Inhale. Exhale, lift your hips. Mm -hmm. Take a breath in. Exhale, sit low. 
Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Pray your hands here. We're only going to hold it here for three, three breaths. Keep your chest lifted. Nice back roll. Nice and easy. Beautiful. You're doing really good. You're doing really good over here. Keep breathing. You only have one more breath. You got it. Try to make it count. Last breath here. And exhale, plant your palms, lift your hips. Heel toe your feet together. And then slowly start to come up. Nice. Place your hands onto your hips and do some hip circles. Lift your right knee. Find some hip circles like we did when we were on the floor. All the way back and around. Don't be afraid of really getting into the hip there. Ooh. Soften the pelvis. Ooh. One more round. Good job, you're doing good. And then release your right knee. Other side, all the way around. Nice, big circles. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then releasing it down. Inhale, arms up. On your exhale, pray your hands, but this time we're all gonna turn towards our left side. So you're on your long side of the mat this time. Legs out long, facing this way. Bring your feet out as wide as you can. We're gonna get into a goddess squat, so that means it's just wider. Your toes and your, your toes are slightly out, heels are slightly in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squat low. Mm-hmm. You wanna try your best not to arch in a lower spine. You wanna tuck it under and lift it up. Okay, place your hands and pray your hands. You got it. We're gonna do this three times, connecting our breath to movement. Inhale, stand, reach. Exhale, sit, squat. Inhale, stand, reach. Exhale, sit, squat. Two more, inhale. Exhale. You know your body, you know how far you can go. Inhale. Exhale. Last one and we're gonna hold it. Inhale. And exhale. Holding it here only for three breaths. Stay low, try not to bounce. Instead, you want your body to naturally allow you to go deeper. If you're feeling anything, maybe you sway <laughs> side and side. I know, let it go. Sway side and side. <laughs> and then slowly start to stand up. Inhale, arms out. And then touch your toes. Your toes are slightly in, heels are slightly out this time. Beautiful. Let your head be heavy. Shift your weight into your toes, so try not to lean back into your heels. If you want, you can bend your knees a little bit more. It doesn't have to be too much of a deep stretch, so don't be afraid of bending your knees. Shift your weight into your toes a little bit more. Head is heavy, let the head go. Nice, keep breathing. Last breath here. Exhale out. Now while you're down here, plant your left palm underneath your nose on the mat, and your right arm comes up for a twist. Oh. <laughs> right arm comes up for a twist, Kai. Up, right, yep. Shift your weight into your toes a little bit more. Nice. See if you can look at your right thumb. If you can't, maybe you look at your right shoulder. If you can't, maybe you look at your, the ceiling. Wherever your eyes go, it's okay. Exhale, plant your right palm down. Left arm comes up for your twist. Getting into your lower back. Shift your weight into your toes. You got it. Inhale. Hold your exhale. Last one, breathe in. And then exhale, releasing your left, le your left arm down. Bend your knees as much as you can. Place your hands on your hips and coming all the way up, nice and tall. Yes, let it go, shake it out, shake it out. One more round on the floor, I mean on the standing and we're on the floor and you're done with all the hard things. We have one flow, so meet me at the top of the mat. 
Similar to what we just did, but a little bit more breath to movement. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer hands. Inhale, arms up. Right leg comes up. Exhale, pray your hands. This time, right leg comes back for a warrior three. That means the right leg does not touch the floor this time. You're balancing on the left leg. Right leg comes back. Keep your right foot flexed. You're gazing at the floor. The more that you look at the floor, the easier it is to balance. And try to get your right leg up as much as you can. You got it. Keep breathing. Gaze down. Where your gaze goes is where your focus goes. Last breath here, breathe in. And like we've done before, high crescent, release the back leg and arms up, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Mm. Inhale, flip your left palm. Exhale, reach up and back, straighten out the left leg. Mm. Inhale, warrior two, listen for the change. Bend into your left knee and look forward. You're gonna reach forward as much as you can, like you're reaching for something. And on your exhale, ex um, extend it side angle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Keep your feet grounded into the mat as much as you can. You can also keep your left arm on top of your left thigh. So as long as your left knee is bent, your left knee should be bent, you can place your left arm on top of your left thigh. Mm -hmm. mm. And keep breathing. Last breath. Inhale, exhale, coming up, warrior two. And then arms to center. Pivot your toes forward like we started. Mm. Right leg comes all the way up. And then arms down. Beautiful. One more side and we're on the floor. The same thing on the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pray your hands. Left leg comes up this time. Breathe in, keep it grounded. Make sure your left foot is. So kick your left leg back, warrior three, parallel your chest to the floor, look down. The crown of the head is going towards the front of the room, but you're looking down and you're kicking your left leg back and up, back and up. Keep breathing. Notice what muscles are happening. Legs are strong. Last breath here. Exhale, release that back leg, and then arms up above you. High crescent, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Tee out the arms, flatten out the back foot, looking forward over your right fingertips. Inhale, flip the right palm. Exhale, reverse up and back, straighten out the right arm, straighten out the right leg, let it feel good in the body. Look up, beautiful. Inhale, back to your warrior two. Bend into your right knee. Shift forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Nice. Keep breathing. Making sure this left arm is reaching up. So you don't want to dip too much into this right shoulder. You want to lift up. Keep lifting. Nice. Inhale, back to warrior two. Nice and strong, gaze forward. And then exhale, arms to center, high crescent. Toes are facing forward. Inhale, exhale, come to the top like you've done before. Mm. And release, inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, touch your toes, let it go. Both feet are grounded. Nice, take two breaths here. You did it. Now it's just a cool down and this always feels good. Okay. Good? Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Plant your palms. And then coming onto your knees. Nice and slow. Put your legs over to your right side. Plant your feet in front of you. Nice. How y'all feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. Good. Okay. Nice. We're gonna extend the right leg out, left foot on the inside of your right knee or your right thigh. Keep your right foot flexed up. Lift your chest. From here, you can make sure you're sitting on your sit bones. So place your hands down and lift up your hips. So that way you know you're sitting right on your, your bone. Yep, inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach and fold. Mm-hmm. Option Ugh. to bend your right knee. You can bend your right knee a little bit. Yep, it doesn't have to be too straight. If it's too much, 
Just notice what feels good. Find a place that feels good in the body. It shouldn't be strenuous. It should be very relaxing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Keep breathing. If you mm. want to get deeper into your hips, just open up the right leg to the right side a little bit more instead of in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like that. Beautiful. Gonna stay here for a long breath, about 10 cycles of breathing. Every exhale, I challenge you to soften more. Notice what muscles are starting to disengage. And the way that you tell your body and your nervous system that you're okay is by breathing. Every exhale, you're releasing something. Let it go. Tap into a space of gratitude and grace. Nice, slowly start to come up. Ah. Lovely focus, everybody. Other side, left leg out. Oh, Right leg in. Remember, you can always bring your left leg out further if you want to go deeper into your hip. If not, just keep it in alignment with your left hip. Lift your chest or lift your hips off the mat. Make sure you're grounded. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Be intentional about where you're sending your breath. Being sure that every exhale you're softening somewhere, even if that means in your shoulders, it doesn't have to be in your hamstring. Just make sure you're softening somewhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. Keep breathing. How are you feeling? Oh, it's okay. Where can you go? This side was okay, but this one, he doesn't give me a lot. It's fine. Wherever you are, I want you to place your hands where they are and just find that stretch, wherever yeah. it is, I and see. breathe in that, yeah, and breathe it in that space. Awesome. Your toes are cute, it's a nice color. Thank you. You're welcome. About five more breaths. Mm -hmm. It's good. Nice and easy. And then slowly start to come up. We're all gonna turn towards this side, this time, your right side. Towards the right, legs out long, are gonna be like this. So we all should be facing this side. Legs out for our straddle, flex your feet. Mm -hmm. Make sure your legs, um, your legs are melted into the mat. Yep. Flex your toes up. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side like we did before. Place your hands behind you and try to lift yourself to make sure you're sitting on your sit bones. Yep. Now here, you can bend your knees if you want to. Inhale, lift your chest. And on your exhale, we're just gonna walk. We're just gonna use our fingers to walk forward, keeping your chest lifted. And right where you feel the sensation in your hips or your hamstrings, depending on your body, that's where you're gonna hold it. You can come on your elbows, or you can just stay on your palms. Mm -hmm. If you want to go a little bit further, connecting your breath to movement, I offer this. Please listen to your body and do what feels good. But we can go back and forth. You can do inhale to tilt the pelvis forward, which might be good. Inhale, exhale, tilt it back. So inhale, tilt it forward. Exhale, tilt it back. Yes, just massaging the pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Few more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more on your own. Stay with your breath. Allow it to really feel good. So you're tilting pelvis forward and then back. So really notice how that pelvis tilt is happening. Yes, beautiful. And you can bend your knees if you want. 
Mm -hmm. Or even if it feels good to have your hands behind you, do about three more. This is good. And back, nice. Mm -hmm. And back, mm -hmm. about three more. Let it feel good. Mm -hmm. Yep, get your pelvis involved just a little bit more. Really press your pelvis forward. Really press, you can do it. Nice, let's hold it right there. Relaxing here. Take an inhale, exhale, walk your fingertips forward. Just gonna hold it here. Point your toes down this time if they aren't already and try to soften your legs. You can let your head go and get a stretch in the back of your spine. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. And one more. Nice, slowly start to come up. Knees together, bring them nice and close. Does it fire get that? We're gonna lie down on our backs. Nice and easy. You can turn towards this way. Yep. Getting ready for our shavasana. So lying all the way on your back. Mm -hmm. Nice. Place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Right ankle on top of your left knee. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now you can stay right here. You can keep your arms to your sides and you can just rest here. And you can consciously use your left leg to bring your right ankle towards your chest. So if you lift your left leg, you can notice that you're actually getting a stretch in your right hip. And bring your right foot down a little bit more. Yep, like that. And now lift your left leg. Lift your left leg. Yes. Beautiful. Right there. Now, if you really want to, you can also grab behind your left thigh instead and keep it close. And let's just hold it here for a second. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing. How you doing? Good? Okay, good. Making sure every exhale you're softening somewhere, even if it's in your shoulders. Anyway, last breath here. And exhale, slowly release both legs down. Unravel your right ankle and place your left ankle this time over your right knee. Ah. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left knee towards your chest. Towards your chest. Bring your left leg. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Towards your chest. Beautiful. And notice here the only thing, or not the only thing, one of the things about yoga is that it's just been mindful. And mindfulness is just the practice of being present the practice of knowing what's happening with the body. So while you're in this posture, can you notice what muscles are starting to disengage? Even if you don't know the names of the muscles, what part of your body is starting to relax? Relax? Relax. Huh? My ankle. Your ankle? Nice, yeah. Soften the ankle. Your neck. My back. Yes. <laughs> Anywhere in the body. Sometimes it's somewhere that you're not even stretching. It could be your eyebrows. We hold tension in our eyebrows sometimes when we're overthinking. So if you can soften in your eyebrows, that'd be nice. Just be mindful of the body. Last breath here. Exhale, release. 
Beautiful, only two more postures and we're done with class. Find a happy baby pose. Bring your knees towards your armpits, grabbing onto the outside edges of your feet. Your elbows are on the inside. Your knees are on the outside. You press your lower spine into the mat and allow your feet to be parallel to the ceiling. So try to flex your feet if you can. Mm -hmm. And if you want, this is a happy baby pose, not a grumpy human pose. So that means you have to find a little Whoa. bit of smiling. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Maybe you rock side and side, finding your smile, finding some joy. You're about to give birth. That's a big deal. Shout out to you. <laughs> Key rocking left and right, left and right. Get into the hips a little bit more. Let it feel good. <laughs> Let's bend a little bit more. Right there. Mm -hmm. Try to breathe, breathe. Yeah, <laughs> you're holding your breath. <laughs> nice, all right, slowly bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Doesn't have to be too tight. Inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Oh. Legs out long, arms out to your sides. Just two minutes of complete stillness. If, it doesn't, if this feels too uncomfortable for you, feel free to lay on your sides. But if not, just lay out long. Two minutes of just you and your breath, you and your body. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales. Just find a little bit more movement, deep breathing. Maybe placing one hand over your tummy, another head and hand over your heart. Breathing into your womb, breathing into your heart space. Sending love to your body. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly start to roll over to one side, whatever side feels good for you. Taking your time and gently start to find yourself seated. 
coming up however it feels comfortable in the body. Nice and easy. Being as quiet as possible for those who are still resting. The legs are crossed. Finishing out practice with some gratitude. Inhale, arms above your head. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center. I send so much grace, love, and gratitude to all of you in here. Thank you for all that you do. Namaste. Namaste. Lovely, everyone. Good job. <laughs>